we are, another war zone match. Um, we're coming off two really hard losses. We sort of had a very tough road in the tournament, first playing Michael and then having to face Kirk, and that's always hard. But uh, I think uh, Tyler's really been putting in the work, and he's ready to go, and he's ready for his comeback. I don't know much about Damien, but I'm sorry that you're in the way of this comeback. Tyler, thoughts? <laughs> no, that pretty much covers. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Hey everybody, glad to be back here. So unlike my competitor, I have done zero work. I am totally off the cuff of the brain and I'm gonna have to derail this comeback based off of no actual preparation or practicing. So I, I feel sorry for you, but that's the way things are. Hello everybody and welcome back to Multiplex Movie Warzone. I am not Caleb Boatman, I'm not Kirk, I'm not Cam. I don't know who I am. Oh, wait, that's right. I'm Tim Burkala. Hello. Uh, I am here hosting Movie Warzone uh, because the world is on fire. And uh, they said, who is uh, often available to do things on a whim? And I said, me, pick me. And now I'm here. But I'm excited for this match. We've got a good one. Uh, we've got Tyler Butler going up against Damian Walker. Uh, Tyler, uh, part of the First Order. Um had a couple uh he had a good win in his first match and then uh like maggie alluded to in the promo had a loss against michael a faction mate but then came back got an opportunity to play in a play-in won that match and then also had another loss in the uh tournament but still showing knowledge going back and forth uh but still showing great great knowledge damien i've actually had the pleasure of hosting a match for as well playing really, really well in that one match that I saw him play in. Uh, so I think both of these guys know their stuff. Uh, whether or not they are prepared for this specific match, I guess we'll find out. Uh, but we'll get started right away uh, by doing introduc introductions, introducing first with a record of two wins and two defeats, Damian Walker. Hello. And his opponent coming to the ring with two wins and two defeats representing the first order tyler butler <laughs> all right i did my job by doing the the introductions thing cody i did it i didn't say their nicknames because i'm bad at that but i did it okay guys round number one it's gonna work like this it's the way that uh all of the round ones work we're gonna give you eight questions from eight different categories in the realm of movie war zone if you get all eight questions correct you'll be issued a bonus question each question is worth one point apiece. you'll get three repeats and one challenge for the entirety of the match gentlemen do we have any questions as we get into it nope good to go all right first question is going to be in the category of romance slash rom-coms what country does Irma La Douche take place in? La Douche? La Douche? I don't know. D-O-U-C-E is how it's spelled. But what country does Irma... Maggie's yelling something at me. I'm American. I'm really bad at saying things. I didn't go to college. Uh, if anyone needs a technical repeat, let me know. I'm so good at my job. Five, four three two one pens down we'll start with damien never heard of this movie france and tyler in the same exact boat just guess france <laughs> and you're both correct oh. <laughs> boom. <laughs> boom look at that all right next question one one going into question two and it's the category of directors who directed cabaret Um, both competitors hitting the first question and then both competitors going <laughs> on the second question. Uh, Are they in, that in sync? I think they might be. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Tyler first. Another guess, uh, Billy Wilder. Wilder. <laughs> and Damien. I, I had nothing. Uh, the correct answer is Bob Fosse. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right. Next question is in comedies. What is the name of the fortune telling machine that transforms Josh in big? 
Um, I haven't seen this movie in a long time. Watched it a lot as a uh, wee lad, but haven't seen it in a minute. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, we are to Damien first. Uh, it's the coin flip. Zoltar. And Tyler? Yeah, I got no. <laughs> didn't have it. <laughs> Zoltar is correct. So oh, not Zoltan. A- Zoltar. All right. Takes a one point lead on that one. <laughs> All right, next uh, is Oscars. What song won Best Original Song for films released in 1997? Uh, 97, a good year um, for not only movies, but also uh, life. I don't know if that's accurate. I was once again a wee lad during this time. Five, four. Three, two, one. We're going to go to Tyler first. My heart will go on. And Damien. My heart will go on. Both are correct. From the uh, wonderful, wonderful film Pinocchio. Okay, next (laughs) question is going to be in the category of music slash musicals. What real life person does Hugh Jackman play in The Greatest Showman? Uh, This movie and I don't have any co-host to yell at me, uh, is hot garbage uh, or hot garbage, as some would say. Uh, usually if I'm on with a, another person, they'll be like, well, I have no one to argue with me this time. So five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's start with Damien. P.T. Barnum. And a Tyler. P.T. Barnum. Both are correct. Four to three, both keeping pace. As we get into the next one, which is an action adventure. In Kill Bill Volume 2, Bill compares the bride to what superhero? It's a fun fact. I've seen Kill Bill Volume 1, like, a lot of times. I've seen Kill Bill Volume 2 one time. Not a fan. Didn't really care for (laughs) Volume 2 of this. I like Volume 1 so much, though. Five. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to uh, Tyler first. Superman? And Damien. I guess Superman. You guessed correctly. That is the correct answer. So keep in pace. Five, four. As we get into the penultimate question in classics. Who plays the slobbish Oscar in 1968's The Odd Couple? Uh, The Odd Couple, famously a team name from one uh, trivia show, which I'm legally no longer allowed to say the name of, um, might get in trouble. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's start with Damien. Walter Matthau. And Tyler. I guess two. Walter Matthau. (laughs) You're both correct. Six (laughs) to five as we get into the final question which is in the category of 80s. What is the subtitle of the second Breakin film? Sorry, uh, repeat. All right, it's going to be Tyler's first repeat. What is the subtitle of the second Breakin film? Um, I had never even heard of said film until today. (laughs) Very close match. Six to five. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Pens down. Uh, We'll start with Tyler. I didn't have anything. (laughs) All right, Damien. Is it Electric Boogaloo? That is correct. <laughs> wow. All right. So at the end of round number one, Damien with in the lead with seven points to Tyler's five, both having great round ones. Damien only missing the one question. Um, 
So we are going to get into round number two. It's going to work like this. I'm going to bring up the lovely wheel from wheeldecide.com. Uh, whoever's in the lead, this case, Damien, he's going to choose whether he wants to spin first or second, and then he'll spin the wheel. If he likes what he spins the second time, he can keep it, or he can choose to spin again, but you got to keep whatever you spin the second time. You're going to get five questions from whatever category you spin, worth two points apiece. If you uh, want to go to multiple choice, you can, but it devalues the point to being only worth one. Uh, look out, everybody. Hold the phone. They're stealing. Okay, so be ready for it. It's going to be exciting. <laughs> All right, so Damien, the categories on today's wheel are Nightmare on Elm Street, Mystery Thriller, Friday the 13th, Westerns, Fandom, Family, Actors and Actresses, and 90s. Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th being Damien's strengths, uh, Actors and Actresses, and Fandom being Tyler's strengths. So having heard those categories, uh, Damien, are you going to want to go first or second on the wheel? Let's go first. All right. Damien going first as I bring up the lovely wheel from wheeldecide.com today. Uh, sponsored by Fortnite. Uh, that's a big yikes for me, dog. Okay, first spin is in for Damien, and it lands on Spinner's <laughs> Choice just barely. So, uh, Damien, what are you taking for Spinner's Choice? Go Nightmare on Elm Street. All right. So... Damien, I will give you your questions, obviously, since I'm the only one here in uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Are you ready? Yep. In Freddy's Dead, what classic movie was spoofed in the opening scenes of the movie? Wizard of Oz. That's correct, for two points. What is the name of Kincaid's dog in The Dream Master? Jason. That is correct, for two points. Who stars as Jesse Walsh in Freddy's Revenge? Mark Patton. That's correct for two points. In the first nightmare film, during Tina's first nightmare, what animal does she see in the hallway? A goat. That is incorrect. Tyler, chance for a two-point steal. Let's go to um, <laughs> is it like a sheep? That is correct for yep. two points. Yep, damn it, <laughs> big two point steal for Tyler. <laughs> nice, nice guy. <laughs> All right, and your final question, Damien, in Nightmare on Elm Street, in New Nightmare. Heather received pages from the Bible with letters on them that, when unscrambled, revealed what message? All right, can you repeat the question? Yes, I can. That'll be your first repeat. In New Nightmare, Heather received pages from the Bible with letters on them that, when unscrambled, revealed what message? Answer the phone. That is correct for two points. God. All <laughs> right. So a near clean sweep for Damien, just missing that one question. But Tyler getting that two point steal makes the score 15 to seven as we get to Tyler's turn at the wheel. All right, Tyler, this will be your spin. Lands on Westerns. Great. Yeah, we'll spin again. Spin again? Yeah. Okay, so you got to stick with whatever you land on this time. Lands on Nightmare on Elm Street, so we'll give you another free spin. And it lands on Spinner's Choice. All right. All right, do you want to stick with what you're going to do? Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll do like fandom since. Okay. Yeah. All right, sounds good. We're doing fandom? Yep. Okay. All right, so we will move over to Tyler's questions in fandom. Tyler, are you ready? Yep. All right. Who plays Captain Nemo in 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea? Fandom question. Oh, that's a Disney one. Uh, multiple choice. All right, your options are A, Kirk Douglas, B, Thomas Mitchell, C, Peter Lorre, or D, James Mason? Thomas Mitchell. That is 
incorrect. Damian Chance for a one point steal. Your options again are Kirk Douglas, B. Thomas Mitchell, C. Peter Laurie, or D. James Mason. Of A. It's also incorrect. It was D. James Mason. All right, Tyler. Question number two in fandom. How many Dementors attacked Harry and Dudley at the beginning of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix? Multiple choice. All right. Your options are A, 2, B, 3, C, 4, or D, 5? 2. That is correct for one point. All right, your third question in fandom. Who was the first person to be nominated for the Best Director Oscar for a fandom film? Five. Four. We'll just take the chance. Uh, Peter Jackson. That's incorrect. Damien, chance for a two point steal. Oof. Yeah, Steven Spielberg. Also incorrect, we were looking for Robert Stevenson, director of Mary Poppins. All right, Tyler, your fourth question in fandom. What is the street address on the mask of P. Sherman in Finding Nemo? 42 Wallaby White. That is correct for two points. And your final question in fandom. Joan Rivers makes a cameo as herself in two different fandom films, Shrek 2 and what other film? Oh, Shrek 2 was the one I knew. <laughs> uh, let's do multiple choice all right your options are a fantastic four rise of the silver surfer b snow dogs c iron man three or d rocky balboa snow dogs it's incorrect, Damien. Chance for a one-point steal. The options, again, are Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer, B, Snow Dogs, C, Iron Man 3, or D, Rocky Balboa. I think I just watched this, Iron Man 3. That is correct for one point. All right, so at the end of round number two, uh, we have Damien up 16 to Tyler's 10, uh, but we still have a game as we get into round number three. This is how it's going to work. Um, it is the pick your poison round. So the competitors, uh, I'm going to list off a bunch of categories. The competitors are then going to have to choose what they want to pick for their one, their two, their three, and their four pointer. Um, and then, yeah, they'll answer them questions. So uh, all that being said, we will have the competitors go pick their categories right now, and we will be right back. Okay, so the categories are uh, Christopher Nolan, 2000s, directors, music slash musicals, comic book movies, mystery slash thriller, westerns, and romance slash rom-coms. So, all right. So we are back. So uh, Damien has picked his one in romance, uh, rom-coms, two comic book movies, his three in 2000s, and his four in directors. Tyler has picked his one in directors, his two in mystery thriller, his three in comic book movies, and his four in Christopher Nolan. Uh, because Tyler's behind, we will get started with him with his one-pointer in directors. Tyler, are you ready? Ready. What was the directorial debut of Orson Welles? One point. Um, Citizen Kane. That is correct for oh. one point. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Right. All right. The question. Oh, uh, your two pointer is going to be in mystery thriller. 
All right, as I find it. Okay, are you ready? Who plays private detective Philip Marlowe in The Big Sleep? <laughs> Elliot Gould. That is incorrect. What? It is Humphrey Bogart. All right, so we are going to move on to Tyler's three-pointer in comic book movies. Tyler, you do need to hit this in order to stay in the game. Are you ready for your three-pointer? As I'll ever be. <laughs> what is the name of the talking pug in the Men in Black films? Frank? That is correct for three points. <laughs> All right, Tyler. So we are now at the point where Tyler needs to hit his four-pointer in Nolan to send it back over to Damien. If uh, Tyler misses, then Damien will be the winner. All right, Tyler, are you ready for your four-pointer in Nolan? All right. In Inception, Sato realizes he is still dreaming because the rug is made of what material in the dream? Well... And your winner, Damien Walker. The answer was polyester. Polyester. So uh, we will go into post-match interviews, starting with Damien. Damien, uh, you have gotten your third win now. Um, you, you spun your um, your strength you spun spinner's choice you picked nightmare right. on street just missed the one question um and actually i didn't say it uh that is a tko for you how are you feeling about your match overall uh feeling pretty good um i know i think there's going to be some criticism that i think in my wins that a lot of times i i've spun spinner's choice so i've been very very lucky on the wheel but uh, i feel less bad about that because my opponent also got spinner's choice so i feel like it was a pretty even even uh, competition both had stellar round ones. Very happy yeah. with those. Um, yeah, and then I just missed the one. It was either goat or sheep in my head. Um, just trying to remember the sound the, the animal made. So just had that wrong. Uh, but no, feeling good. Um, yeah, just looking for the, the next opponent. Yeah, I have uh, no idea who that is because I don't run things over here. But right. I can imagine that uh, you will probably get a ma another match soon. Is there anybody that you're looking to play as you uh, try to rack up more wins? Yeah, just bring on anyone. Ready to go. I'm the luckiest man on the wheel, so <laughs> you're, right. they're going to need their luck. So, All right, sounds good. All right, well, uh, we'll see you again very soon. Congrats on your win today. We'll move over to Tyler and Maggie guys. Uh, how are we feeling? Is there anything we would have done differently? Maybe taking something else on the wheel? How are we feeling? Yeah, I mean, it, it's tough when you study something and it doesn't come up. I mean, we had the option of taking something else around you. Maybe it would have played out differently. Um, I maybe should have warned you that the Warzone writers like to be dicks when it comes to fandom because they don't usually get to write it. Yeah, That's all I'm saying, like hmm. the comic book stuff. Um, so maybe you should have gone differently. But, I mean, congrats, Damien. You played a great game. And, I mean, you had an excellent round one. You made your way through round two. I mean, it is what it is. But, um, yeah. Tyler, how about you? Uh, how are you feeling about the match? Oh, like, not too bad. There was, like, a couple of them that I was beating myself up about and, like, not knowing. But, you know, did, did what I could. Damien did really well. So, all right, well, this is the like nicest group of people except for Maggie. I'm rubbing off on her. My my complaining is rubbing off on my wife, which is which is scary. But um, so uh, is there anybody, Tyler? I know that um, you are, um, you know, like you, you work hard. Is there anybody that you want to play like to try to get back to to fifty uh, uh, to even record there to get a three and three or what? Are you, what are you thinking? Not really. I'm just like in it to just just for fun. So awesome. Whatever. All right. <laughs> cool cool well i'm sure we'll see you guys very soon uh i'm gonna wrap this up now in a nice little bow uh if there's one thing i've learned today it's that uh i've uh poorly influenced my wife and that's okay and damien knows things about nightmare on elm street but we knew that already anyway guys uh thank you so much for watching this episode of multiplex movie Warzone, uh check out the other matches coming out this weekend there's a lot of cool stuff going around here at multiplex entertainment uh watch the things the two eggs trivia nights the fandoms the miscellaneous check them out they're all fun uh so that is going to do it for us 
Thank you to Damien, to Tyler, to Maggie. Uh, I guess thanks myself. I'm such a nice person. Not really. I'm quite horrible. Thank you. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, boys. Have fun storming the castle. Think it'll work? It would take a miracle. Bye-bye.